Welcome back to Latin Nation. I'm your host, Humberto Guida. Now, coming up, we have one of those proverbial next big things, Brian Seen Mark. Now, growing up in Brooklyn wasn't the easiest thing for Brian Mark, but after deciding to move to California to pursue a music career, his life turned around. Not only did his music career take off as half of the R&B duo Dementia and Scene, but he became an actor by chance, getting a scene-stealing role in both of these false films, White Girl and Nerve. And if that's not all, Brian found time to join us right here on Latin Nation. Hello, I am Brian Mark. My friends call me Scene. I'm an actor, I'm a singer, a producer. Sometimes I rap. I grew up in Sheepshead Bay in Brooklyn. My parents split when I was eight. My mother's a hardworking Puerto Rican woman who supported us working in a supermarket. When my mother couldn't pick me up, different family members would watch me. And so everyone listened to different music. And while it was definitely no one's intention, you know, they'd be the ones to say, no, do something better, be a doctor, be a lawyer. They didn't realize subconsciously that they were kind of putting that in my head and making me fall in love with it. So I think they're as guilty as I am for choosing this <laughs> career, but I'm grateful because I couldn't be, I picture myself being this happy doing anything else. Yeah, maybe in my dreams I could just be and then be out. Never did I see that I could be where I be now. And when I left New York to, for California, I was 18. I almost didn't graduate high school. You know, I went to a parochial school, so they're like, you have to graduate. And I was like, I don't have to do anything but stay brown and die, <laughs> you know? And then uh, by chance, I moved into a building where there were kids uh, producing music and hosting like the local popular college radio station. And they'd invite me to rap. And little by little, I was getting a lot of attention for it locally. And next thing you know, I turned around and, you know, I was getting paid to like do shows. So then I was like, what happened? Three years ago, I was like doing, you know, illegal things in a park in Brooklyn. And now I'm um, like, now I'm kind of living a dream that I never even really pictured for myself because it felt so out of reach. How did I get started in acting um, with the movies White Girl? That's my first movie that I did. And uh, someone at the website Rap Genius recommended me. I guess they had been looking for a long time and didn't find anybody that they were happy with. And uh, I didn't meet him, the guy that recommended me, for like another year and a half after. But that was the only question I had for them in the audition room. And I went, yeah, how did you find out about me? Because <laughs> I've been going to these auditions and I still don't know why you called me. And so it was this guy, Ben Gross, and so I owe it to him for recommending me. Welcome to Nerve, a game like Truth or Dare, minus the truth. Watchers pay to watch, players play to win, cash and glory. Are you a watcher or a player? I got uh, involved in Nerve. I was asked to audition for it, and the uh, directors, Henry and Rail, they had become familiar with me from working on White Girl. They were two of the producers on the movie. The movie's exciting. I play J.P. Guerrero, who is the apple of the eye of our star, Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts uh, is a school photographer who's very shy and uh, never really takes risks. And after a few letdowns, finally realizes that she wants to break out of her shell and gets involved in this online game and may have signed up for more than she uh, signed up for. <laughs> hey, J.P. What's up? Um, I was wondering, do you have a girlfriend right now? No, it's, she's not my type. He's protective, but he's also uh, shy. Doesn't seem to want to hurt anyone's feelings. So while he may draw attention for how he looks and how he comes off, uh, it's not his intention, and so he doesn't really know how to deal with that. spoke to him. I know some people get lost in the line of just like, oh, it's a movie, now I'm a, you know, I'm an actor, I'm a star, I'm a singer, whatever. Anytime that I get those feelings that kind of feed into making you take things for granted, I kind of take a step back and say, I'm lucky. Any day can change how I'm not owed anything. And so those things cross my mind while watching myself on screen. I'm shorty. Don't do drugs, all right? 